Hey guys, it's me, Komasan, and welcome to another week of FNAF Weekly News, which I cover the news every week on Fridays. So, we got a lot of stuff to talk about this week. We got a lot of book news, because a new monster book came out, uh, FNAF Monster Story, and Mort News, and some other stuff. Very weird week of FNAF News, but let's just get started. So, off with the Mort right off the bat. So, YouTube has released an upcoming plushie of Charles Entertainment Cheese, so that's just Chuck E. Cheese for those that do not know. I don't know why uh, Johnny Blocks made it sound like that, but... YouTube's is making a little thing, a little plus of uh, Chuck E. Cheese, uh, the main dude mascot. Uh, he looks pretty funny, he got a little jacket on. It's based off the wizard on design, which is very scary looking in real life. But it made it into a cute old, likable form. So, that's really cool. I'm surprised that Johnny Blocks is covering it, because Chuck E. Cheese really hates being associated with anything Five Nights at Freddy's related. But it's really funny. We also got our first look at that Five Nights at Freddy's Help on It 2 2025 Ball Calendar by Trent international so it's a calendar that's for next year which is basically help on two related so it shows every month each month has a different animatronic i'm gonna put up an image here but blowers is the most interesting because right behind it is a poster of ball fest i know everybody's talking about like ball fest ball fest that ball fest this like people really want a game about fall fest and i have a feeling that they're hinting at it maybe i don't know maybe this got a random thing but these, this is a pretty cool poster. If you like Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 2 or just want a Five Nights at Freddy's poster for 2025, pick this up. Uh, so, yeah. We also got our first full look at YouTube's Withered Plusies and Daycare Attendant Pins releasing on July 16th. So, we got a lot of moon and sun stuff for, like, accessories. But the main plusies are the Withered animatronics. So, we got Withered Foxy, Chica, Freddy, and uh, uh, Faceless Bonnie. So... We got a lot of cool stuff, y'all. I don't know how much it's gonna cost. Maybe they'll do a giveaway like they did for the last one, which I hope I win. But it's pretty cool if you like these accessories. Might as well pick them up on July 16th. Also, YouTube's held another AMA over the subway. It tells everything of note regarding the upcoming FNAF, Bendy, Poppy's Playtime, and other Holo IPs. We're only gonna be talking about the FNAF ones because, you know, my stuff isn't based off this, and I'm pretty sure they're not gonna be talking about, like, uh, Indigo Park, so I'm a FNAF Indigo Park YouTuber, so let's just go over the FNAF stuff. So, AMXES Plus will be pretty fun. A Gregory Plus would likely be made in the future. Some of the books aren't available to make YouTubes of, so some hints towards Zell. A Mimic Plus will likely be released for early 2025, so keep that in mind. Since the location wave is likely 2025, YouTube has so many ideas for plusies of the toys. A cute plus of the yellow rabbit is in the works. YouTubes would like to make a Spring Bonnie Fud Bell. Easels for the FNAF 10th anniversary wave will likely be released last week of July. So this last week of July, so that's crazy. Balloon Boy figure confirmed for the second FNAF movie wave. Molten Footy, Nightmare Figures, Purple Guy Plus, and non ruined Eclipse all received a maybe possible response. So that's all the things they answered. I know I went over that pretty quickly, but that's a lot of news and crammed into a lot like a very fast thing messes text whatever but some cool announcements that are going to be happening at 2025 and around the 10th anniversary so basically at the end of this month so a lot of crazy stuff also we got a first look at hex's bonbon bon hand puppet plus revealed on by docker on astro spiff's twitch stream so this is crazy i guess i don't i don't know why uh docker didn't do this in his last shorty stream maybe some stuff was happening maybe some production but we got a first look at Bon Bon, and they look pretty cool. It was confirmed by the voice actor that Bon Bon is gender fluid, so that's pretty cool fact. So they use E, C pronouns, so keep that in mind. So uh, Bon Bon looks pretty cool. I hope, they, like, I can't wait to actually have this. So th Bon Bon's actually going to be like a hand, like, puppet. So, so it's going to be very, very cool. And I can't wait for it to come out. It should, in my opinion, be a little bit cheaper than the other plusies. But we just gotta wait and see when it actually gets an announced date and we get our first, like, real looks at it. We, we technically did get our looks at it, but you know what I mean. Also, that was a ton of more stuff. So now let's talk about the biggest part of this week, which is not about games this time, but it's about the books. So the Walmart exclusive Tales from the Pizza Plex Mind Up book includes a never-before-published story titled Monster, which follows Drew and Liam in a story originally set to be included in two previous novels. Liam and Drew's exposed about their boss leaves them in a rude awakening. And it comes with a Fallout poster featuring the Moondrop hologram from Somnophobia is also included. So, let's talk about this book. So this book is bad. It is a 
bad story. It has nothing to do with FNAF. And people say it's a vent story. It's like a Scott Cawthon vent story. And I kind of have to agree. I'm not the biggest fan of Scott Cawthon. He did some pretty bad stuff and supports some pretty bad people. So I love FNAF, but I honestly do not like Scott Cawthon as a person. Uh, he is pro-life and... I don't really want to get into politics here. He's pro-life and uh, he doesn't like, L he supported anti-LGBT uh, politicians and I am trans so that affects me. So you can kind of understand why I don't really like Scott that much. But that's what people have been saying about this new monster book. And Scott does like review all these books and stuff. He does have influence over these stories. So some of that could be in it and stuff like that. So I honestly think this story should never happen because it's... Bought a lot of controversy and stuff and just it's, it's just a bad story in general because it has nothing to do with five nights of Freddy's like at all so it shouldn't even be in the book but that's my take on the monster book i think it's terrible but you can pick it up if you want to read it and it comes with an awesome postal so in my opinion i would just skip like skip the monster story and just just get the poster and read the other stories in the book so yeah <laughs> We also got our official description for Five Nights at Freddy's VIP Volume Zero and Scholastic's new interactive novel series, releasing on July, releasing on August third for the Five Nights at Freddy's tenth anniversary. So I'm pretty sure this is the free Five Nights at Freddy's book. So here's what it says: Just in time for the tenth anniversary of Five Nights at Freddy's, head to the Pizza Plex in this interactive novel in which you decide what happens. Get ready for our new Five Nights at Freddy's experience. You, the Weedle, or Devin, and you've won VIP passes to the hottest place in town. Buddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex. There you can eat all you want. All expenses and pay tickets are guided by digital person, very informational information pig, that's weird, and all uh, every kid's dreams. But does your VIP host have something something more sinister in mind? With multiple endings and two difficulty settings, this one of a kind free ebook is a uniquely entertaining experience for any five minute fan and the perfect way to get ready for September 2024 launch of interactive novel the week before amazing so a new pizza plex book so that's gonna be called an interactive free ebook so it's for you guys we love free stuff but uh check it out it's releasing on August 3rd with the FNAF 10th anniversary week so I would definitely be covering that I would most likely make a video because that week I'm gonna be very busy with stuff we also got some game news so we got our first look at Chica and Five Nights at Freddy's, the upcoming Funko Fusion game, releasing on September 13th, 2024. So here's what Chica looks like. Chica looks like a Funko Pop, and uh, that's with Megan. Uh, that other movie that uh, the FNAF movie people made, I don't really care about Megan. It, it's, in my opinion, a little bit stupid. But there you go. We got Chica. I think there's like Chica. No, we need Bonnie and Foxy and Golden Freddy if they are going to be in the game left. So we might be seeing more stuff around them so yeah we got we got chica <laughs> this game is not looking the best we also got our first look at steve achievements for my pop goes available to wishlist now full scheme releases on august 4th so pop goes my pop goes is like a brand new fan game that's coming out that's i'm pretty sure it's part of the no, i don't think it is i think it's the own thing i think pop goes evergreen is part of the scott thing but games having steam achievements they look pretty nice and they look cool so yeah not much i can talk about we also got some other stuff to talk about that is this etc. So we got our first look at Docker's interview with Scott Cawthon for the Five Nights at Freddy's 10th anniversary, releasing on August 5th. So there's a 3D window of him, of Scott's avatar. It's okay, I guess. Uh, interview coming out on August 5th. So look forward to that. So the final piece of news for this week, Steel Wall Studios will reportedly make an appearance at PAX West this year, according to the events off official website. The hashtags of Steel Wars recent tweet also spell out Seattle. The gaming expo runs from August 30th to September 2nd, 2024 in Seattle, WA. So many people think that they are gonna announce a game. And they probably are like like in the tenth anniversary week, they are gonna announce a game and they're probably gonna go into more detail in this pack. Um Probably is gonna happen. No, duh. I, it's gonna be DLC or a new game. So keep that in mind. But that is all the news we have for this week. It was kind of weird. It was more into the book stuff. But if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. Because every week, guess what? I make FNAF news videos. I know Johnny Block does too. But hey, maybe you can support the little person here. Uh, but yeah, um, I make uh, these videos every Friday. So make sure to subscribe and like and press the notification bell if you do enjoy uh, this videos. But I'll see you guys next time.